Welcome to this EX Matters podcast. My name is Justin Tippett, CEO of AXMA and also host of this podcast. And in this episode, I'm getting to talk to the world famous Jackie Scammell. Welcome, Jackie. Thank you, Justin. Thanks for having me. Wonderful to have you on the show in this episode where we are going to talk about well, customer service and a definition, I guess, because we've probably all got our own t- interpretation of what that means. And I thought, you know what, who better to ask than someone who does this stuff for a living and is also on the advisory board of AXPA. So I'm going to throw the question straight to you, Jackie. What is customer service? Well, it's yeah. And, and customer service sometimes gets muddled in that CX customer experience. And, and I think it's a great place to start. So For me, I like to keep things really simple. Customer service is simply making people feel better than when you found them. And that's the whole aim of customer service. What do we need to do to make that person who's buying our product or service feel a little bit better than when they first arrived? And it's it's one of the most wonderful parts about customer service that I love because that's the human touch, the human impact that we can all have. There is, a, of course, an academic definition of customer service and one that I, um, I certainly read many years ago and thought, you know, that's probably helpful to remember. So it was um, back in the 1980s, an academic by the name of Klaus, he said there's three elements that make up a quality customer service. The first is task, the second is the tangible, and the third is the treatment. And so the task is, the, the transaction, the, the process that you're going through to give that customer the product or service. The tangible is the stuff. Sometimes it can be the um, technology that we're using or it could be literally a physical space if you're working in a bricks and mortar environment. So the environment that you're working in. And then the treatment, of course, is the emotional and social component of service. And that's the part that I love the most because that's the feeling aspect of service, which is how customers measure up on how they feel when they're being delivered a service from you. Yep, and that passion certainly comes through. Your face lights up or your voice lights up when you talk about that tangible. So I'm gonna throw the other T's to the side for this particular one, because there's lots of podcasts that we'll have that talk about the technology and the the enablers, et cetera. Um, So if we focus on the, the tangible and the feeling part, how do organizations get that right because I guess if it was perfect, we'd all be doing it and we're not. So uh, so what are some of the tips that we can give to people out there that are listening or watching? Yeah, so the, so the treatment element of customer service is really about, um, like I said, the emotional, social interaction that you're having with another human being. And I mean, you know yourself, the way you feel when you're being treated by someone, usually um, it's very subjective, it's very personal, it's very unique. So what are the things that make up the way you treat people? Well, first we start with mindsets. So anyone in any type of service role, we, we all bring a certain level of thinking and mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, sometimes stories to work. And um, often that leaks out in our behavior and then in our language and the way people experience us, the way we treat people. So one of the first places we always start when we look at improving the treatment of a quality service experience is mindsets. And then that enables us to then be aware of how we actually behave, how we speak, how we act when we're with customers, whether it's on the phone or face to face. So yeah, mindsets, habits, language, behavior, these are all the the soft skills and the elements of treatment that determines how you make a customer feel when they interact with you, regardless of the outcome, whether you solved the problem or got them the solution, you're always gonna leave someone with a feeling. Yeah, yeah, and that treatment stuff is is so important because as as you've touched on, I mean, it, it, for a lot of customer service folk, they're dealing with a lot of people in a day, right? And uh, and it's pretty hard to just sort of front up customer customer after that customer, uh, and particularly if one sort of thrown you very early in the day, it can really offset you know, the whole rest of the day. So we'll, we'll cover mindset and stuff in in other episodes, but I, I guess I really love that bit around how you make people feel and that you know, that treatment um, part of customer service. So wow, we've given people some three T's. We've given people a formal definition as well so if that's what you tuned into when you saw the podcast or the title i hope we've given you the answer um we do have other podcasts with jackie as well to listen to and if you haven't already make sure you listen to the podcast where we actually delve into jackie's uh life in uh this is your life kind of stuff uh, because it's a fascinating journey uh and i i I genuinely encourage people to to listen because you you realize just where some of the the skills and experience that jackie's had and how that actually manifests itself now and why she's the expert 
expert that she is. So if you haven't tuned into that, make sure you do. But for now, thank you so much, uh, Jackie, for your time on this one. And we look forward to catching everyone on the next podcast of the CX Matters podcast. Bye for now. Awesome.